Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about macro photography. So a couple things I want to point out about the build that I use. Um, first off, I'm using a 100mm macro lens. This is the L version, the uh, f2.8 made by Canon. Can't say more good things about this lens. I really love it. Super sharp. Shoots at 2.8. It's 100mm so you can get away with kind of shooting bees and stuff. It's really my favorite lens out of all the lenses I've ever bought. Um, I'm using the TT685C Godox flash. And one of the really important things here is that I am using this little articulating arm that allows me to kind of just adjust it to whatever angle that I need depending on what I'm shooting. It makes a huge difference using the flash off the camera versus just sticking it over on top of your camera. I, I can't emphasize how much of a difference that really made in my macro photography once I started using it. At first when I was shooting one to one I was completely happy with it. It took me a while to kind of get that down but once I did I just found myself wanting to get even closer to my subject. So using the Kenko extension tubes, I was able to get past one to one and that really kind of took my macro photography to the next level. Now it also made things that much harder, the depth of field cut way down, making it just that much harder to get the subject. But that's where, you know, using the mirrorless camera, the EOS RP or the M50, having the focus peaking in there since I'm almost always shooting in manual really makes a big difference as far as being able to get the subject in focus really easily. I mean just having it light up for you and seeing the focus right there is just so much different than when I used to use the DSLR and, and have to really rely on just my eye and hoping that I got it perfect. So real quick I'm gonna give you three shots of this little flower that I've got here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot one at 2.8, I'm gonna shoot one at f11, and I'm gonna shoot one at f16 and I'm gonna show you what the differences are now, the basic thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to be shooting at 1 60th of a second. Again, that's because that's the highest shutter speed that I can use while still not using high speed sync. Every single camera has a different specific shutter speed that it can go to before high speed sync has to kick in. Um, my specific model on the M50 here is 1 60th of a second. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring us to f2.8, which is as wide as this lens goes. I'm at ISO 200. I'm gonna back my flash power off now. So we're gonna shoot at one 128th power here. So what I'm gonna do is again, I'm just going to frame up this little flower and I'm gonna make it so, you know, pretty much this whole flower is in frame. And I'm going to focus right on these little tips here. And what we're gonna do is shoot that. And I'm gonna show you that picture. And you see how shallow that depth of field is really don't see much of the flower in focus. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and we're gonna change that. We're gonna go all the way to F11. And because of that, I'm now gonna need more flash power. So my flash is going to go up. Let's try 1 16th here. So again, gonna try to do like the same thing. Gonna frame up pretty much the whole flower. Gonna aim just on the tips again. So I'm focused in the same spot and shoot. And you're gonna see, now we've got more flower in focus, but we're still not where we wanna be. So we're gonna get to F16 now. Again, we've closed our aperture down, so I'm gonna need more flash power. Let's try 1 4th. So again, now we're shooting at F16, 1 60th of a second, ISO 200. I've got my flash power cranked up. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna frame in, get it right on the tips again, and shoot. I'm gonna show you that one. And now you see that F16 is starting to bring in most of the flower a little bit sharper. It's still not quite where we want to be. guys, basic tips are going to be shoot at the highest shutter speed that you can without enabling high speed sync in your flash. I usually shoot at ISO 200. For some reason, ISO 100 just always seems to really require a lot of flash power. 200 seems to work best for me. I really don't have any scientific reason for why that's just what's worked for me. You know, I really do recommend using a flash with your macro photography. I think it can really bring you to the next level. Extension tubes, if you want to get closer, make a huge difference. Another thing that I really think is beneficial is having stabilization. Now, I know a lot of people say you should do macro work on a tripod, and they're right. I mean, your shots are definitely gonna come out better if you can pull them off on a tripod. 
Me, personally, I just have more fun handheld. I like to shoot bees a lot, I like to shoot insects, so usually they're moving, which is just really tough with a tripod, and I end up spending more time adjusting the tripod or trying to get it in the right place, and by the time I get there, my subject's already moved, and that just kind of takes away the fun for me, and I, to be honest, I get away with some pretty cool shots handheld, so you do have to have kind of a steady hand. I do almost always exclusively use manual focus, and I always keep it right down to the one-to-one -one end of that focal length, so I'm always at the closest focal distance that I can be, and I'm just wanting to get as close as I physically can, and that's just my personal preference. Okay guys, and I hope this video helped you out a little bit. If it did, please go below, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.